So certainly now as a third country national, UK nationals do fall under the Schengen rules, which allows them in most instances to spend 90 days uh, within the Schengen area within a rolling 180 day basis. So basically when a UK visitor enters uh, the EU now, they now can spend up to 90 days during the next 180 day period. Again, make sure that your traveling population understands how to calculate uh, the 90 day rule of the Schengen um, allotment of uh, visa-free stays. Again, this is uh, from the, the date of entry, looking back 180 days of those. So actually now when you're looking at uh, someone who's on secondment, let's say from the UK to Germany, you're looking at those detached work rules. Now, what the detached work rules allow is for you to make an application for a certificate for a Form A1 um, to uh, retain the individual within their sort of home country social security and avoid fragmented contributions. Whereas the new rules, the protocol, it, it's got no flexibility. So it can only be applied for for up to two years. As soon as you know you're going to be on secondment as a posted worker for more than two years, you'll flip into the host country social security because so, there is no agreement between the UK and Liechtenstein for, for social security. So if you do have any moves between those two territories, you could in theory end up with a dual liability. And uh, doing that automated calculation to make sure that that 183 day window is always being monitored and that, that there is fair warning that, that can allow both employees to be able to know when they need to leave the Schengen area. Or when if you put in the time now to educate yourself and to set up these tracking tools, it certainly will start to pay off very shortly.